What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today I wanna to show you guys how to unlock a hidden toggle on your Galaxy S24 Ultra that will allow you to potentially save some battery life overnight and also can increase your overall sort of privacy on your phone if there's a situation where you just want every sensor on your phone turned off. Now, this is a very rare application in that sense, but the battery life savings is actually pretty awesome. I'll show you guys how to enable it. Before we get started, I wanna give my three-year-old son, Jonathan, a huge shout out. We got the uh, whale and also, sorry, the shark hanging out and the T-Rex. He always gives us some animals, sea creatures, et cetera, to hang out in the video. We do appreciate that. And I also wanna remind you guys, if you haven't yet, check out my alpha link. The link is in the description, in the pinned comment. Uh, you can sign up for our newsletter where you get information about the mystery boxes. If you buy your Samsung phone through our affiliate link at each launch, you get a free case cleaning kit, desktop phone stand. We just finished that for the S24 Ultra. You can also visit our website, sammyguru.com. Uh, catch up with our most recent video as well. It'll always be posted right there. The link's below to the alpha link if you guys want to check it out. Sign up for the newsletter and all that good stuff. So the feature I'm talking about is the ability to turn off all of the sensors on your Samsung Galaxy device. So you see this toggle I have up here where it says sensors off. What I can do is I can press this toggle right here and it's going to allow me to turn off every single sensor on my phone. That means the camera, the microphone, proximity sensor, gyroscope, every sensor that's built into your smartphone. Now, why would you wanna do this? First of all, at nighttime, if you turn this on, you could get some significant battery life savings because none of that stuff is working and you're not really gonna be checking notifications or interacting with apps. But you might also want this if you're in a situation where you're giving your phone to someone or something like that and you'd want, it, want the privacy of all those being turned off. Or if you're in some other situation where not having any of those sensors collecting data about you is important to you. But it's still a very really useful thing to know how to do. And it's part of a larger subset of options that you can enable and I'll show you guys where to find them. So if you go into the main settings menu, scroll down to the bottom, you're gonna go into about phone. Now I'm gonna scroll down here when I tap on about phone so that you guys can't see here my phone number information but you'll tap on software information. And when you get to software information, this is the screen that you're going to get when you get software information. When you go into software information, repeatedly tap on the build number and it's gonna enable developer mode. You'll have to put in your pen or your password. I've already enabled developer mode here on my phone, so I'm good to go. But if you haven't, it's gonna say developer mode will be enabled, put in your pen or password if you wanna do this. If you understand what you're doing, go ahead and hit enter and you'll be good to go. Now, once you back out of there, and go back to the main menu, again, just trying to make sure my phone number isn't displayed there, you'll see developer options right below about phone, right here at the bottom. You guys see where I have it right there? You're gonna tap on developer options, scroll down a little bit here, and you will find quick setting developer tiles. That's this one right here, quick settings developer tiles. Now what quick settings developer tiles are, are a collection of tiles that you can put in your quick settings that are for developers. Uh, they're for very specific things like hardware rendering, uh, RTL layout direction, window animator scale, uh, wind scope trace, and uh, wireless debugging if you want to do it like with your computer, volume up press and power double press bug report. So like if you want to see how the buttons interact with some of your apps, show taps, which can also be useful if you think you're having some issues with your display, not registering touch sensitivity. This is something I use for testing that as well. The one you really don't want to touch here is you really don't want to touch the uh, window animation scale, because what this does by default is it sets all of your animations to 10 times. Of course, you could change it back in the developer settings, but it's very, very annoying to have all of them to 10 times. I'm, I really recommend not doing that. But this is the main one I'm talking about, sensors off. If you turn this toggle on, then when you go back to the sensors, uh, sorry, the wireless uh, quick settings toggle, I can't speak here, quick settings toggle at the top, you'll now have the sensors off toggle. Now, if you tap this, it'll turn it on so that none of your sensors are now enabled. So you can see sensors are off. You can see up here in the very top, you've got this little icon right next to the battery percentage that's telling you all of your sensors are off. Now, of course, if you're actually using your phone, you don't wanna do this during the day most likely because if you wanna use your camera, it's gonna tell you security policy prevents the use of the camera. So you cannot get into the camera. It's not gonna work. Also, anything that requires the gyroscope proximity sensor, all that stuff, your microphone, if you wanna use voice recorder, something like that, none of it's gonna work. And basically all the applications you use are gonna interact with some of these features. So if you turn the sensors off toggle on up here in the quick settings, you're not gonna have access to any of that. But if you switch this on at night before you go to sleep, all the sensors off, 
this could save you some battery life. And also, like I said, there could be some situations where you also are interested in this. So I wanted to bring it to people's attention because most people don't know that it is hiding there in developer options. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Still waiting for the big S24 Ultra update here in the US. I'll have tons of coverage of that when it arrives this week. Also, more tutorials. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the alpha link. Sign up for the newsletter if you're interested. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.